Okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Carmen, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going into more depth about my Herbst appliance and answering any questions that you guys have asked me. So let's get on with it. So if you guys did not see the video that I first posted about my herbs appliance, which was basically me getting it on in the process of that, it might be helpful to go watch this video before or after this one. It doesn't really matter. But today is kind of just kind of a follow up on that. What my life has been like since I've got that got tinted on and some things that I figured out and answering more questions that you guys have and that you commented in my past video. So make sure to go check that one out as well. But basically I got my herbs appliance on a few weeks ago. It's actually been a little bit and um basically what it does is help align my jaw so my bite is better and i also found out that it helps to simulate helps stimulate lower jaw growth if you see me looking down at my little pad i just have a whole bunch of things that i'm going to be covering this video and answers to any questions you wear the herbs appliance for a total of 12 to 14 months which may seem like a while, but honestly, for me, the time has passed fairly quickly. And just like with my braces, I've gotten used to it. And most of the time, I don't even realize that it's on. I don't even notice it's there, if that makes sense. When you first get the Herbst appliance on, it may cause some sore teeth and facial muscles the first couple of days, like in your jaw area, like on the outside, because it is moving that forward right away. And you also might her inside the lips and cheeks because you're not used to the implants inside your mouth. That's why most orthodontists will give you some wax. Oh my gosh, I can't open it, sorry. Some wax that you can put inside your teeth um, to like help ease the way into getting those calluses because once you get the calluses on the inside of your mouth, you don't even feel like the pokes or anything like that. If you have bracelets, it's basically just like that. It hurts inside your lip. It like feels uncomfortable for the first few days, but then you develop calluses and it feels like it's not even there anymore. If you're wondering how the Herbs Appliance is clean, if there's any like special thing that you have to do, I haven't heard or been recommended to any special cleaning other than my regular toothbrush and toothpaste that you use every single day. You just have to make sure you get inside my gums and around that herbs appliance so it's clean and it can um, work temp in that it can work correctly in that all the food gunk is off of the appliance. I have heard of one of those little like tool water things where you can like spray and get food gunk out of the smaller places but I personally don't have that and my appliance inside of my mouth is working perfectly fine with just toothpaste and a toothbrush and some mouthwash and floss so personally I don't know I don't think you need to get anything special but obviously if you want to then that's totally fine your decision some foods that you like are very highly recommended to stay away from are popcorn gum caramel nuts any hard and sticky foods and some two things, uh, two other things that I was very surprised that you were not supposed to eat, ice and nuts, which I knew about before I got the herbs appliance on, but I try and that, but then I tried eating some M&M, peanut M&M's and my mom was like, oh my God, come on, you can't eat nuts. And I, yeah, it's just, I don't know the exact reason why you can't eat nuts, but I think it's because nuts have to be chewed into small tiny pieces to be swallowed and you can't really do that with just your front teeth and ice it's just really hard so it could bend and break the herbs appliance you are also supposed to cut your meat into really small pieces um i'm guessing that's because it's tougher and um big pieces will 
it's gonna be hard to chew, but also might like break your herb supplies. I found that also like smashing down or like trying to not eat super huge foods every time when you order something or eat something is a lot easier. For example, when I eat burgers now, I smush it down like literally because I don't want to have to deal with going in to take a bite, this thing falling off and having to, oh my God, I have to put the burger down, reapply it, like put it back in and you know, it just makes it a lot easier if you think beforehand, let's not eat something that's like a double stack burger. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys or like talk to you guys about the herb science and it falling out. Um, when it falls out, you think, oh my God, it's broken. I need to go to the orthodontist. But no, literally it's so easy. The first time mine popped out, um, I had my mom help me, which was very awkward for her, but it was fine. But after the second time, I was like, okay, I'm going to try by myself because it's going to pop out. It's popped out at least 20 times already for me. Um, it just happens. It's something that's going to happen. You just need to be prepared and know what you're doing to get it back in. Sorry if this is a little weird. You guys can skip forward if you don't want to see me reaching my hands inside my mouth. But basically, if you open your mouth too wide, they fall out. Ugh. Sorry, you can probably hear the metal clinking around. This is what it looks like. It looks a little weird. I know, kind of looks like a walrus. But it's fine. You just need to know how to reapply it back in. I've done it in, oh my gosh, it's so weird talking. You can still talk. Kind of uncomfortable when you have them off. Um, so if they do come out, try to get them back right away. Basically all you have to do is slide it back in. So. There's one. Ah! And there's two. Somebody in my previous video about the herbs appliance asked if you could take them out and just eat with your molars. Um, like have them out like that and just eat with them like that. No. Um, unless you have the certain, I think there is a certain herbs appliance where you can take the entire appliance out of your mouth. Not very common, but most of them that you will get like and see are cemented to your teeth and they are meant to be inside your mouth like that. So do not take them out voluntarily and eat with that. You're supposed to eat with the front of your teeth. If you'd like to try to eat with your back molars, go ahead. Would not suggest it. You're supposed to eat with the, like these teeth right here. The ones that do not have the herbs spines on it. So no, if you have it like mine, do not try to take them out and just eat with your molars because you could also risk biting down and bending the herbs appliance and then it's broken. Now you have to pay for a new one and go get it back in. And just a lot more hot hassle that you don't have to deal with. Just eat with your front teeth. Somebody also asked me when I get my bottom braces on because as you guys can see, I have just my top braces on and then I have my herbs appliance. No bottom braces whatsoever. So I got my top braces on for four months. Then I got my herbs appliance on. I'll be wearing that for 12 to 14 months, like I said. So next July to August is probably when I'm going to be getting mine off, um, 2022. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sh sure if I, and I will correct myself in a future video if I'm wrong, um, I get my bottom braces right after I get my herbs appliance off um, in 12 to 14 months. <laughs> so, and I think, I don't remember how long I have to get, have my braces on after I get my herbs appliance off. It's probably four months to a year, somewhere around there. I honestly don't know. And again, I will do more check-in videos along the way once I figure that out. And then after that, I don't think I'm gonna have to get rubber bands because hopefully my herbs appliance is going to do all the job that I need it to do. But then I will get a retainer and hopefully that'll be the end of my orthodontic journey. So another question somebody asked me is, um, how many metal crowns or caps do you wear for your top and bottom teeth? So in all, and could I show my caps or crowns in this video? Okay, yes. So I have two caps and crowns on each side of my top and bottom. So eight caps or crowns in total. So basically I have two here, two here, two up here, and two up here, which basically is holding the herbs points down. And I don't know, like, I will have to ask my orthodontist just so I'm like for sure, but I'm pretty sure that I have eight caps and crowns in total. I'll show you guys. Hopefully I can show you correctly, but. Uh... <laughs> I 
And then another thing that somebody brought up in my last video was herp spines versus jaw surgery. Um, actually, my orthodontist suggested that I got surgery instead of my herp spines at first, but then we talked a little bit more about the right option for me. And since I am 14 and I'm still growing, I'm not an adult yet, so I'm still like developing everything and my jaw is still able to move. Um, we decided on the herp supplies. Um, if you are older and you have stopped growing, it's n probably not going to be the best idea that you get a herp supplies because it's not going to do much because your jaw isn't going to move to that position. Because the whole point of a herp supplies is to stimul stimulate that jaw growth, but if your jaw isn't growing anymore, then it cannot move to the correct place. And that's probably when you're going to be considering jaw surgery over the herpes appliance. I wasn't informed as much about the jaw surgery because we ultimately decided on the herpes appliance, so I don't know too much, but if you guys would like to know more about that, then comment down below and I will definitely do another video. I'm pretty sure the most asked question that I got asked was, did it hurt to get put on? I kind of answered this in the last video, but I'll answer it again and go into more depth, I guess. Um, basically what they did, basically two weeks before I got my herpes appliance on, they did a consultation or like, not, I don't even know what you call it, but basically they put this little mold into my teeth with all the caps and, so they took out my spacers, put the caps and crowns on, and then they molded it, took the mold, they kept the mold for when I actually got the herpes appliance on, took the space, took the caps and crowns off that they put in, put my spacers back in and sent me home. Um, so that next week I could get my herpes appliance on. Kind of a weird situation. I was like, am I getting my herpes appliance on two weeks before I'm actually supposed to? But no, they were just like checking and make sure, making sure that they were all in the right position and that it worked correctly for my jaw size and position, I guess. That was probably the most painful orthodontist department that I've ever been to just the first time getting all those crafts and crowns in so that I could take the mold but after they took it out and then put the spacers back in the next week when I actually got the herpes appliance on oh my god it was literally so easy um that is the point where like that meeting was I almost cried I was like oh my god this is so bad because I was not used to having that in but after it came to the herpes appliance I kind of knew what I expected getting all the caps and crowns in and I'm pretty sure that made it easier for my orthodontist because the appointment was supposed to take an hour and a half, but it only took 45 minutes. Not even kidding. She was like, oh my gosh, Carmen, you're so easy to work with. And I'm like, yeah, it's just, you just, I got so used to that feeling or I already knew what I ex to expect. And it didn't hurt as much because my teeth move actually very quickly. Um, so it might be different experience for you, but for me, it didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. So I wouldn't be too nervous about it. And afterward, my jaw, my back, like the back, my molars, I guess you could say, the back of my teeth and my bottom jaw hurt a little bit, not like overwhelming pain to the point where I couldn't chew, but it hurt a little bit. It just, it's probably going to hurt in the first couple days, but it'll get better as you go along. And also, also, um... What's one thing that I was really worried about getting my herpes appliance on is that people were going to be able to see it and were like, what the heck is she wearing? Like, what is that? Um, you cannot hardly even see it. Like, if I smile, sorry for my weird smile, you can't even see it unless you're, like, purposely trying to show it. Or pe people, um, like, at school this past year, obviously, we were wearing masks, but it, you know, like, even if they took their masks off when we got to that point, I new people that had the herpes appliance on that I didn't even know they had the herpes appliance on. Like, you cannot see it. Your mouth is so dark and the herpes appliance is, like, just basically blends in. And so, unless you purposely show someone, yeah, I had the herpes appliance on, people aren't going to know. Like, I'm not even kidding. Um, also, very mobile. Um, I have done a lot of things. You can do all sports. Like, I've done gymnastics. I've done cheerleading. And sometimes in cheerleading, you get hit kicked in the face um I have my helmet on which compresses my face and you literally do not feel a thing so basic it's 
you don't hardly even feel it most of the time once you get used to it. If you guys have any more questions that you guys would like me to answer about my herbs appliance or anything else, please comment them in the comments below. Um, I love that you guys commented so much and I got so many questions. That just made my heart happy. The comments are a safe place in this video, so please feel free to comment. I will definitely answer you or I will um, answer your video in a future video. Thank you guys for commenting and watching that video and also if you guys are here watching this one um, I really appreciate it. Oh my god, there's a no man. Hi! One minute! This guy's gonna think I'm really crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, is he gone? Yeah, can you help me bring dad's bike in? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Sorry about that whole mailman experience. Um, I will probably be doing more check-in videos and answering more questions in future videos about my herb spine, so stay tuned for those. Make sure to subscribe down below and hit that thumbs up button if you guys like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!